the iconic Martindale Hall is a state heritage place, as you all know. The property is a conservation park, which means it is to be managed with the objective of preserving the historic site and its structures. And it's also subject to a charitable trust in favour of the people of South Australia for them to have access to Martindale Hall for as long as they demonstrate they so desire, according to the document. My question is, do you see any heritage benefit in legislating to, first of all, abolish the conservation park status of the land and secondly, to abolish the charitable trust? In a way, that's an impossible question to answer because the government has simply refused to release its advice that the charitable trust in some way prevents an upgrade to a disabled access toilet. So without that information, I can't answer in the terms in which it's been asked. What I can say is that we successfully defeated the bill through Parliament that would have enabled both the the removal of the conservation park status and also the charitable trust, because we simply weren't convinced that there was a proper logic to the argument that was being made. There was no vision. All of the legislation or the legislation gave all of the power over to the minister to create policies that would then be enacted, which is manifestly inappropriate and, and inadequate. So our policy is that we will work with the National Trust and with the community, but primarily with the National Trust, to look at what the future of Martindale Hall ought to be, that it must be public access, that it must remain heritage, and that any legislative changes that may or may not be required to enable people in wheelchairs to go to the toilet would flow from that rather than this ambit claim which happened in the last parliament without explanation or justification. Show your support on Facebook by signing the online petition 